Hello guys, welcome to Noah's Tech Info. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a user in Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Alright, so first off I'm going to go into Start and I'm going to type in Active Directory, and uh, we're going to be using Active Directory Users and Computers. And then we're going to click on our server. Now, despite us having a users container, which has all the users that we need ready to run the server, we're going to be creating what's known as an organizational unit, which is like a container and it helps you know categorize uh, users into separate containers and uh, it can also help you with group policy management which is something I'll cover later down the line but for now we're just going to look at creating users so what I'm going to do I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose new organizational unit and we're going to call this NTI support but you can call it whatever you like and I'm just going to uncheck this box here uh, just for testing purposes but you do not have to Basically, what this does is, if you want to delete the uh, container, it will just say no, and you might have to do a couple of extra things in order to delete a, uh, a container with accidental delete on protection. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, so now, we're going to create a new user. And we're going to right-click, choose New, User. And for this, I'm going to be uh, creating um, a template uh, just for this video because as your uh, network grows, uh, this can become helpful. And I'll explain why in a couple of seconds. I'm going to click next. I'm going to make a password. Going to set it so the user can't change their password and the password never expires. And click on next and finish. So we have now created a template. But what can we do with this template? Well, if you have gone into properties and if you've messed around with a few things in there, like I don't know, set your dial in, you know, select uh, home folders and stuff like that, which we'll cover a bit later. It can become helpful uh, by using a template, and this will copy every single this this will copy the settings every single time for another user, and it can uh, help you know speed things up a bit and not having to configure every single user individually. So we're going to work off this template. So we're going to right click and choose copy. And now I'm going to create an actual user. I'm going to call this user test one. Username is going to be test1. Going to hit next. As you can see, our settings have copied over from the template. User cannot change password, and the password never expires, which is a good thing in our case. Uh, create a password. Click on next. Just review everything. And finish. And as you can see, we now have a user with all the same settings as the uh, template has. And then when you have a client connect up to the server like Windows 10 or Windows 11, you'll then be able to log in to this uh, account and then uh, access your files and everything through there. However, we'll be covering that in another video. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you would like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comments section below or you can check out our Discord server and Instagram page which are the links in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.